Last time the captain got to blow his new horn, we caught some lovely mai mai and had loads of fun in the Bahamas. This time, please join us as we discover that beautiful underwater world of the Bahamas. And of course, we did the piggy thing. Stay tuned. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Okay, that's a meaningful swim. A huge shock. Where? Uh, uh, where I started swimming. <laughs> oh, that's a, I thought there was something happening because you're swimming. <laughs> it's not following you. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> When you started swimming, I thought, okay, maybe you've come to fetch the spear gun. You saw a lobster, but I knew something was wrong because you were swimming meaningful. Yeah, no, it's just Good. right somewhere. I don't know, somewhere there. No, you were over there, that's right. No, I started swimming because it's just grass and sand. Nothing, nothing here. Just grass and sand. Oh, no. And deep, deep pits. And that's why we, the current is there. So every time the current comes up, it makes these... Ah. These whirlpools or something. But on my way, I swam like, um, what? <laughs> was this like close to you? I said, yeah, it was, I was swimming over it. Said, no, not really over it, but like there. And then. Did he look at you? Yeah, but he was on the bottom, on the bottom. Ah, and he stayed there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm swimming and I'm sure he's seeing me swimming, so it's like. <laughs> now I need to swim faster or calm, calmer. <laughs> Just try to stay calm. <laughs> Don't look like you're panicking and running away from a shock. Did you hear the music? <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Did you not hear the music? I didn't hear the music. Oh, then you're okay. And that's why the shock will get you. <laughs> if you don't hear the music. <laughs> hey. Now that was. An experience. It was just a, yeah, I think it was definitely much bigger than me. So I'm not. Shit, so that was a big no, one. No, that was big. It's much then it was off to Staniel Key where we hoped to dive in the famous Thunderpool Grotto. We lifted anchor. <laughs> it looks like there's the first tourists coming for the piggies. Yeah, we're going to do the piggy thing too. I know all of the YouTube channels that has been in the Bahamas have been to the piggies and I think all the viewers of the famous channels, they are sick and tired of piggies. But our parents and our friends and our people in South Africa that likes us, they've never been to the piggy beach. And they also don't know about piggy beach. So we're going to the piggy beach, but there's something else as well, the airplane, and the grotto, the famous grotto from 007 Thunderbolt. So we will go there. Approaching Pig Island, and we saw all the little boats on AIS, emphasis on little boats, and look what they turned out to be. All these super crazy mega yachts. All coming to have a look at the pigs. There you go. There they are. Pietro just got some apples. And so you guys know what this means. We're going to the piggy beach and everyone that saw the pigs already, you can skip this section. <laughs> Family and friends, this is going to be fun. So we just spotted another shark here. There are just so many sharks in the Bahamas.
Swimming pigs have populated the island for decades, but their actual origin is somewhat of a mystery. Local legend claims they swam ashore after a shipwreck or were left on the island by sailors who planned to come back and eat them later, but they never returned. Daniel Key Yacht Club. Come set my net, Iso. It likes to lack it. So Pietro cut her finger and luckily I didn't cut it, I butchered it, it with a huge knife. <laughs> yeah, so luckily if if you want to see how to stitch a wound, go to our episode where she stitched a pork skin or pork belly. Now <laughs> she needs to stitch herself. And I have no idea how to help. Uh, it looks painful. I'm sorry, this looks really... Oh, I'm going to stand here, otherwise I'm going to fall. Shoo. Mm, that doesn't look... Oh. <laughs> I cannot watch! Sensitive users, be advised to close your eyes now. <laughs> I'm not closed now. Check, check. It, she is bleeding and that's 24 hours later. <laughs> oh, I cannot, I, I, I'm sorry, Pietro. <laughs> this, is, this stuff is not for me. Ooh. Oh, now this thing has moved, but it's fine. I think I need another plaster. Ooh. We are getting ready, it's pretty early. Well, <laughs> not that early. So, that Fountain Bajo over there. We sailed with them from all the way from Turkey and then met in Malta and then the power split again and we I think we met them again some no we, we went through the Mediterranean but different routes and different times and then we we started at the same time more or less to cross the Atlantic but they started from Gran Canaria and we started from Lanzarote and then we met in Antigua <laughs> and then our power split again and we came into this bay and saw Naya it's our, it's our body boats so uh, Trifecta is the boat's name so we we met up last night and today we are going to do the grotto dive we're going to dive in Thunderbolts cave, the cave where 007 uh, Sean Connery has dived and it is somewhere around that corner over there. The name is Bond, James Bond in Thunderbolt. We think we see a shop. Yeah. Oh, swimming. <laughs>
around the planar wreck and there's apparently lots of them and they all been called Escobar's planes the Escobar lost a lot of planes in the Bahamas and here it is Stanyoki has a minor landing strip so officials would gather at the nearby bar with their radios on in case of emergencies one night a man called in requesting help finding the landing strip his voice got more urgent and he began speaking more in Spanish than in English. As soon as the officials got the landing strip lit with car vehicles, as they usually did for nighttime landings, the radio on the other end went silent. In the morning, a search party finally found the plane about 10 miles off of Norman's Key, sunken with the two passengers still on board. It turns out it would have been impossible for them to escape the plane due to the space being packed to the brim with bales of marijuana. We wanted to to go where the nurse sharks um, is swimming around you and you can pick them up and all sorts of funny things. But there's a big blow coming right tonight. We normally sail in 20 knots, but there's also a gust that's going up to about 32 knots. So maybe it's not a bad idea to find a good hiding spot. We have some time spare, so let's see if we can go up north. And guess what? <laughs> yeah, Johnny Depp. We're going to invite him to Beach Bry on one of his beaches. We anchored here at Johnny Depp's island. This is the, the island and this is one of the places, the beaches. And just between that point there and that point there is Another nice beach with some infrastructure, like a bar and stuff. But this is a channel for the current. So now we're getting to low tide, so all the water is rushing out that way. But the wind is coming from that direction. But because we have lots of sandbanks over there, the waves is not that big, so the side swell is not that important here. I'm not sure what's going to happen tonight because in six hours time we will s swing uh, that way and a wind will come from th from that way the wind will swing that way so then we'll be fine and then at 12 o'clock exactly 12 o'clock is funny it will swing like this immediately like and it was super super strong so i'm looking at the weather and we spoke about it now many times that the wind is coming from that direction but we anchored in this way close to the uh, uh, johnny depp's island but check this out why we anchored here <coughs> So we are this white dot. So that's where we are. Currently the wind is coming from this direction. But now look at the big picture. So I'm just going to just start going basically hour by hour. So now it's Saturday 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5. Now check this out. Check that out. Just like that. So from... Ooh, if we go here. The wind is blowing us now the wrong direction. And then it start turning like this. And this is basically nothing. This wind speed is 10 knots. And just like that. From nothing to that. And this is this this front that's just coming in, it's like amazing. Just going to eat a tooth. 
the barbecue ready, the braai, and we're going to do some lobsters here. Pietro did some mashed potatoes. Oh, and look at the magic sauce. Butter, garlic, and capers. Perfect combination for lobster. <laughs> the yeah. best. And there's some um, homemade, like manual made. It's not not those things in a packet. She boiled the potatoes. Coming from this little thing, cut it, boil it, mash it. A lot of hard work. Well, first, what we do is we shear it. Sear. Uh, sear. Is it sear? This, like that. Ooh, that didn't go well. What, how many? Three minutes. Three minutes. Minute set, set the timer. Oh, oh, oh. The chicks. Oh, nice and white. Ah, the magic. The magic sauce is the capers butter and garlic mix that you spoon over the top now that's a yummy buttery and it's just like soapy mmm smell it Four minutes. Four, Four minutes. That lobster was totally yummy. And that's it for this week, guys. I hope you liked it. And remember the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do that, please. And consider becoming a Patreon. It will really go a long way.